You know, I done seen a lot of hustles and a lot of grifts in my time, but selling Bibles to your fan base for $60 gotta be the coldest, most dirtiest, deranged thing I ever seen. Can we talk about it? So apparently, y'all know Donald Trump gotta pay that damn near half a billion that they done charged him with. And now he out here selling Bibles for $60. Yo, what if he replaced himself with every, every biblical figure in the Bible? He changed every chapter in the Bible is about him now and his trials and tribulations. It's no book of Job. It's no book of Genesis. It's just Donald Trumpisms. And him, he's Jesus. He the new Jesus in the New Testament. He's Moses in the Old Testament. Can we talk about it? How is this man out here selling $60 Bibles? He don't even go to church. He's not a pastor. He's not a preacher. If the he walk in the church is going to catch on fire. But apparently he's selling $60 Bibles to his fan base. And this is absolutely insane. Again, the election is coming real close. The presidential election is coming real close. And Joe Biden, you need to be out there selling $60 Bibles too. Because this man is about his hustle. And his back is against the wall. And he's trying to get all that money back and more. He done made like... Two billion in the last week. He sold like part of his website, and now he got them nasty, ugly gold sneakers that for three hundred dollars he sold probably like a million pairs of them joints. And now he about to sell sixty dollar Bibles. Like who's paying for that? And we all again, that's a rhetorical question because we know the Magda supporters is paying for that. But again, sixty dollar Bibles for the Word of God is straight blasphemy, and that's disrespectful. That's a new level of disrespect. What if he really changed every passage in the Bible to stuff about him? What if it's just him writing his name? You go look for the Book of Ecclesiastes or something like that, <laughs> the Book of Mark, and it's just Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump. He just wrote his name mad times. Like, can we talk about it? Selling sixty dollar Bibles is wicked, and you're not a pastor or a priest. Even Joe Orstein and the rest of them million dollar preachers who don't who charge people to go into their church every Sunday. Um, even they not making their own Bibles. You got your own Bible. Is this the Trump Bible? It's like the King James Version. I really want to know. I'm not paying sixty dollars. I'm gonna give me a library card and go to the library to get this book because I'm not paying sixty dollars for him to talk about he the new Messiah and he the new Jesus and follow him. And now he got a book for his followers to worship. They could really devote him as a deity and a god. And this is absolutely insane, Joe Biden. You better get you better get to work because now he got his own Bible, bro. Joe Biden with a Democrat Bible. Y'all better get your old Bible. Y'all here letting all these migrants into the country. Meanwhile, your man got his own Bible. He's talking about he's the new Jesus. And he's about to sell that to them. And they're going to eat it right up. Again, I'm not paying him $60. He's from Jamaica, Queen. Yo, every time I see Donald Trump do something wild, why I be nonchalant about it? It's not that I'm a Trump supporter or anywhere. I actually don't even know who I'm voting for this shit. It's that he's from Southside Jamaica, Queens. If you've ever been to Southside Jamaica, Queens, you'll understand everything. If you've ever seen Southside, just look at 50 Cent. Look at the cast of Raising Canaan. Look at the cast of Power. They all from Southside Jamaica, Queens. It's not a friendly place, and it is not. he's born and bred out there. Even though he was raised in a mansion, he was still raised in a mansion in Southside Jamaica, Queens. The same blood that flowed through 50 Cent flowed through him, and y'all see what 50 do. So that's the same person. He's petty, has no bounds. Y'all I got this man selling $60 Bibles. If he don't care about the Lord, he don't care about nothing else. He's trying to become president again. He's on his New York bully. And I'm from New York, so I can always respect that. Joe Biden, you need to get to work. You out there walking slow. He out here selling Bibles for $60 with the word of God. The Magda supporters going to eat that up, boy. He the new white Jesus. Like, again, what is he writing in that book? Did he write it himself? You know he did. He just read. <laughs> How you copy and paste in the Bible? He done chat GPT and made his own bible like can we talk about it that's blasphemy <laughs> and it's easter sunday and he dropped it on easter sunday bro <laughs> america that's the new president again this will be going because joe biden you gotta step it up sleepy joe he, your man got his own bibles like what's, what's up with y'all kamala kamala you need your own bible too a cookbook or something joe biden gotta have the, uh, the book on dementia the five stages of losing your mind Alzheimer, whatever the hell Sleepy Joe got, because he ain't all in. This man son, making his own Bibles in the Trump factory. They trying to take all his money. He is the definition and my back is against the wall. I need all that bread back. He done made two billion. Everything they charged against him, he done made back. So it's like, damn. Somebody said it, it was like on a, on a podcast I was watching. It was like, if God ain't and want him to lose, like why he made two billion back in the same week. You know what I mean? Like again, politics. But again, Joe Biden, you better get the the Bible out because 
Trump got the Bibles for the Magnus Porter. Can we talk about it? 